Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Today's shirt for October 30th. I cannot believe in two days it's gonna be freaking November. I just took my visor off. Some hair is kind of crazy. Anyways, today was mini corn dogs, baked beans. Ah, mini corn dogs, baked beans, um, vegetables. Oh, there were pears. I didn't get pears. But I like baked beans with chips. So I have some plain chips from my pantry. That's how I like to eat baked beans. Got some mustard. Oh my gosh. So Last night, um, the kids were jumping on the trampoline and Allie came in and said that Jax accidentally landed on her pinky. And like the rest of the night, she complained that her pinky hurt, but it wasn't like swollen, it wasn't bruised, it didn't like look funny or anything. I'm like, okay, just be careful with it, you know? And this morning, Get Adri up off to school. Get Allie and Jack's pretty much ready and they're sitting on the couch watching their tablets, having their breakfast. And every day I go out, I put ice in my cup, I go out to the extra room to get pop, to get a Diet Coke. I had a long night, a rough night before bed. Anyways, go out to get my pop. My Diet Coke come in, somehow, like, smash my thumb in the door. Cut it open. It's bleeding. It's one of those pains that's like, it was, it was really pain. I'm not going to lie. I had three kids with no epidural, okay? I have a pretty good pain tolerance. I don't know if I hit it just right or what, but oh my God, it hurts so bad. Like, I instantly felt like I was going to puke. I know you can relate. Like, you've had one of those pains, like, instantly it just makes you so nauseated. So, I did that. And when Allie came in, in the kitchen to get something. Like, right when it happened. So, I'm leaning over, holding my thumb, like, oh, my God. Like, it really hurt. And she came in. She's like, Mom, what happened? I said, I just smashed my finger, my thumb in the door. Well, then she saw that it was bleeding. Next, I said, I'm okay. I'm like, just go eat your breakfast. So she comes in here. Next thing I know, here comes Jax peeking in. He's like, Mom, what happened? I said, I'm okay, buddy. I said, I just smashed my thumb in the door. And he said, is it bleeding? I said, yeah. I told him. He said, oh, I bet that really hurts. I said, it does. But I said, it's okay. Well, he wanted to go in and get a Band-Aid for me. And then Allie came in. So they're in there getting me a Band-Aid. So I started running underneath cold water. Well, number one, you get to stop bleeding. Number two, I thought the cold would make it feel better. It made it burn so bad. So I turned the water off and turned around to get a paper towel, just kind of like dry my thumb. Everything like started getting blurry. I feel like I was gonna pass out. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like it wasn't like a gory scene. But like I felt everything like starting to get weird. I was like, oh my God, I'm like, I need to sit down. So I hurried up and just sat on the floor and just like leaned up against the wall. I was like, what in the heck? So I sat on the floor, like everything started to get hot. It was so strange. I even took my ponytail down. <laughs> Got my hair up. I took my hair down 
I'm like trying to lead the back of me against the cool wall. I feel like I honestly thought I was going to pass out. It was the weirdest thing. Sat there for a few minutes. And then got up and I was fine. I don't know. It's still pretty sore. I already had to change my band-aid. Uh, at work. So then, like it's sore. But I can bend it and everything. I said at work, um, Allie came walking through the line. She's like, Mom, she's like, my finger still really hurts. I'm like, oh, crap. I'm like, I forgot about it. She didn't say anything about it today. She said, I went to the nurse. She said, the nurse taped my fingers together and gave me an ice pack. She put it in my classroom. I said, like, well, just be careful. I recess. I said, Allie, I said, if it is actually broken, so they'd probably just tape your fingers together anyway. I said, so just be careful. And we'll look at it after school. And then, fourth grade's coming through. One kid comes in. He's like in a cast from like his elbow all the way down to his fingertips. And the girl beside him in line, she's got her, she's got her finger in a splint. And I'm like, what the heck? I'm thinking to myself, like, wow, it must be like, let's injure our hands time. And a couple months later, I hear Kayla say, Oh my gosh, what is it? Let's hurt our fingers and hands day. <laughs> I said, right? I said, Allie did hers last night. I did mine today. These two have injured fingers. So at school, when the kids do like really good things, they earn these tickets. And I think they earned, I think it's for like the whole nine weeks. I don't know. Because last Friday was the end of the first nine weeks. I can't even believe that. That's crazy. So Friday there's an assembly. It's a fun one where they like do relays and stuff. So during lunch today, the guidance counselor was going through this big bin and like pulling random names of who's going to be like on the relay teams and stuff for whatever grades. Um, sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, if they call Jackson's name, like, is he going to want to do it? Is he going to not want to do it? Like I said, it's Friday. Like, I don't know if he'd freak out being up in front of the whole school with his little team. So I got there. They had a, they stopped, they, like, he calls all the names for the team and they didn't call Jackson's name. And they get lined up and he's just kind of looking around. I said, but I said, do you know what they're calling names for? I said, Friday, you're having an assembly. I said, the names that he called, I said, they're going to be on teams to go like in front of the whole school and do different relays and stuff. I looks at him and he says, what about me? I said, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm like, did you want to do it? I said, it's just whatever names they pick. I'm like, maybe you can get to do it next time. I felt so sad. Like, you know, like. You want your kids to be a part of everything and like not miss out on anything, but that's not how life goes. So it's like sad. Like, oh, he really, he was like listening to and he whispered. He's like, what about me? I suppose they didn't call your name. You don't get to do it, buddy. So then Allie's rig comes in. Well, when they get to second grade. And they're calling names for like different relays. And he's like, okay. This is going to be the names for the crab walk, where you're, you're going to walk on your hands and feet, like backwards. And you guys know what a crab walk is. And he calls a couple names, and he's like, Allie Swink. And I look over, and she's like, like, she's so excited. So she's so excited for it. I'm like, oh. So at least Jax can watch her. So I told her, I said, Jax didn't get picked. I said, he, I said when they were done, he said, what about me? So I have to ask his teacher, like, what, what things can he do to, like, earn more points like have his name put in there more whatever how it works i don't even know but
tomorrow's trick or treat. I'm still serving today. Tomorrow's menu is the. We put in these cups. We put a scoop of mashed potatoes in the bottom. One time we did a sprinkle of cheese. The second time we didn't. And then a handful of popcorn chicken on top. We have scarred these kids. I said they don't have white coat syndrome. They have white cup syndrome. Because. So we came there. What is that? What's underneath it? And one kid's like, you're just gaslighting. You want us to think it's a whole bunch of chicken, really it's just all mashed potatoes. I'm like, oh my gosh. So he took his cup and like dumped it on his tray. I've probably talked about this before, but it's still so funny. Third and fourth graders using the term gaslighting. Like, so the second time we had it, they kind of knew what it was. I'm like, remember, if you don't like a mix, take the chicken. They're not mixed together. It's like the potatoes on the bottom, the chicken's on top. Take the chicken right on the top and just set it on your tray. You can have it separate. We just already have them cupped up because otherwise it would take too long to get the kids through the line. So we have it cupped up and ready to go. So we can't like separate them and pull some out and take lids off and redo serving. So, well, the other day we had um, macaroni and cheese in these cups and Cassie, she, she was serving. She's like, there were so many kids like, is there mashed potatoes under that macaroni and cheese? And she's like, why would we, why would there be macaroni or why would there be mashed potatoes under your macaroni and cheese? Then she's like, oh, she's like, then it dawned on me. Like, that's what, she's like, we've scarred them. It's like whenever they get something in a white cup, they think that there's mashed potatoes underneath. It's so, it's so funny. Like, why would we put mashed potatoes underneath macaroni and cheese? But that's the meal I'm serving tomorrow. I absolutely hate serving that meal. Now, Monday I served and it was, we had the white cups. It was tomato soup. And we had grilled, excuse me, grilled cheese. They were fine with that. Nobody asked if there were mashed potatoes under their soup. <laughs> and then Friday's Pizza Hut. I love that day. Number one, I love Pizza Hut pizza. And we don't have one that delivers here. We have nothing that delivers here except for one little pizza place down the street. Number two, Pizza Hut brings in, I forget how many pizzas. So I just open a box and serve the slices of pizza. And I have a feeling that Friday's gonna be a rough day because trick or treat is Thursday. So all these kids are gonna be like jacked up on the um, candy and sugar and red 40 and everything else. Let me tell you, since working at the school, especially with the younger kids, you can tell like, The other day, so many kids that were like normally really good, well-mannered kids were just like off the wall. It's like, oh, they had trunk or tree last night. So probably loaded up with red dye and sugar and everything else. And then last Friday, the whole school went trick or treating at the one nursing home like one grade at a time. In the afternoon, the kids were off the freaking wall. So, tomorrow night's trick or treat. So I'm sure Friday's gonna be a treat. So I'm glad I just get to grab a slice of pizza and set it on a tray. <laughs> carved her pumpkin the other day she got pumpkin the other day she got hers done Allie got hers part way done and needed help I just didn't have time like I was in here making dinner and stuff and Allie cleaned Jax's out for him but he didn't carve it so tonight or today after school I'm about to sit outside and hope that their pumpkins finished Tomorrow's trick or treat. Jack's yesterday. He's like, Mom. He's like, You forgot 
He forgot to put the witch's hat or the witch flying on the porch. I thought he meant the witch's hats because last year I hung witch's hats for, with like fishing lines. So they're just like, look like they were floating on the porch. I loved it, but I used hot glue on the porch. It did not pop off like most hot glue things do. So I didn't do that. So he's like, no, the picture. It's like, oh, the projector. I sure had a projector on it, like, had the witch that would, like, fly across the house. I told him I was going to try and find it. I honestly forgot until just now. I mean... I thought Jay said that he had just put it away. So if he knows right where it is. I can put it out there, but. I've used the same pumpkin buckets for the past few years and like the handles are broke, so. There's one with a good handle. Here's two. Oh, I'll have to see if I can find a third one. So Adrian, her best, best friend, are sharks. Adrian's a pink shark. Brielle's a yellow shark. They went to a trunk or treat together last week when my stepdad took my kids. And then Monday for the parade, Brielle came over and watched the parade. And they wore their costumes. And we went down to the costume contest. <clears throat> I think she's coming here tomorrow to trick or treat. I told her she could just spend the night. And I have to remember where I put Jax's mustache for his costume. Allie wants her hair sprayed with red spray. So I have the red spray. I have her red spray there. But I don't know where I put his mustache. After um, the costume contest, maybe it's in his little prize bag. He got third place, most traditional or something. I forget. So he got two dollars. Parade last Thursday, <clears throat> and then trunk or treat last Tuesday with my stepdad. Ooh, these tomatoes are squishy. And then the parade Monday, and trick or treating at school. Have this stuff in this bucket. Move back, okay. Oh, and they got these treat bags at the museum the other day. I wonder where his prize bag is, because he got he won two dollars. Allie got first place for her category in her age. Adrian Braille each got first place for their category for their age. So they all won five dollars. He got third place. So he won two dollars. Hmm. I have to find his mustache. So that's what's going on in my neck of the woods. Ugh. Like we were saying today, it works like we're just exhausted.
Cassie's like, yeah, we're just ready for Thanksgiving break. I think it's a whole week. And they also work um, third shift on the weekends at my second job. But Another warm day. It's supposed to go up to eight days in today. In Ohio on October 30th. There's been years where it snowed on trick or treat night. I'm just excited that trick or treat night is actually on Halloween. One more little corn dog. Try to be careful. I make a bigger mess. Every time I try to be quiet, I do something that's noisy. <laughs> smashing it today. All right, I'll eat this last pepper. And then I'm gonna add the video. I think I have an hour before I get the kids off the bus. So I think I'll do that. So many compliments today on my shirt from kids and teachers. All right, thanks for having lunch with me. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>